everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Lisa if you're new around here today's video is going to be a planned video for our kitchen and also our utility room now these two rooms I haven't really shown too much uh, with regards to like the house renovations and decorating and stuff like that because those are very long-term plans we're not going to be doing a full renovation on the kitchen for a couple of years two to three years we don't really know how long it will be but it's a long-term plan so we thought for now what we could do is we could give it a kind of budget makeover because we obviously are going to be living here and we wanted to kind of make it our own so we're going to give it a little makeover and obviously we're going to share the journey with you and today I'm going to talk you through those plans for the utility room the kitchen and also the playroom as well actually because I've got a couple of plans for here that I can talk you through as well so if you want to know what we're going to be doing to the kitchen utility room and playroom then just keep watching let's get started oh my gosh this weather is crazy at the moment it's so stormy today it's just gone really dark and now it's like hailstones i'm gonna turn the lights on for you so you can see the kitchen better so as you walk into the kitchen this is what you'll see it's actually a really big space the previous owners used to have like a little breakfast table here which i think is a really cute idea and we could do that potentially once we've done the kitchen but as you can see this is the kitchen you could definitely fit an island in here if you wanted to but eventually our plans are to knock through this way so for now we're going to keep the layout the same of course and we're going to paint the kitchen units so we're going to paint these units they're a really nice shaker style which is perfect because i love shaker style kitchens but we're going to probably paint them a lighter color i imagine it's going to be white but i'm not 100 percent sure yet i just want to keep it really bright in here ignore the state of it at the moment it's such a mess in here i've got my printer set up for of course homeschooling loads of work on top but we have also got some green tiles and a kind of like laminate worktop which is like a green color to match i'm just charging my camera battery as well but anyway this is the tile situation now i actually like the um tiles just not the color so the tiles have kind of got that what is the word now they're kind of irregular which i really really like and i like that kind of irregular tile we actually had rectangular ones in our old utility room if you remember that room so what i'm going to do is i'm going to paint these white but i'm going to paint them in a gloss color rather than painting them in a matte white so these are matte at the moment but i want to give them that kind of porcelain effect so i think we're going to go with a gloss i've actually seen it already on pinterest someone had it tied was exactly like this so I'll put a picture up of the image that I found and how she achieved the look I just thought it looked so so good so that is what we're going to do with the tiles and then with the worktop I'm going to attempt to wrap them with some like sticky back plastic or contact paper I'm gonna try it it is it is quite intimidating for me this job and I don't I've never done anything like it before so I'm not sure how that's gonna go down but I'll show you the utility room in the moment and that is what we're gonna practice on first so that will change we're gonna change this top here to more of like a woody effect one I think not marble I just want to go for like a bit of wood to add some warmth and then everything else will kind of be white I'm not going to change the handles I'm going to keep them the same paint all of this white um but yeah I think that will really really change it up and make it feel even brighter in this room at the moment obviously it's a dark day which is why we've got the lights on but just so you can see from over here just imagine that just a nice clean white look the white glossy tiles with like a woodwork top like a wood effect work top i think that could work really well we could change the work tops but i don't think it's worth doing although we're probably going to have this kitchen for around two to three years so who knows if anyone's done it on a budget then let me know or if you think it's worth just wrapping them for now then we could do that anyway so i think that is what we will do then we've obviously got the dishwasher there which is fab love the dishwasher we're keeping that this was already built in when we moved in it's actually i think it's like an oven and also so a microwave but we have got our microwave above and then we've obviously also got the cooker that they left here as well so we're going to leave that here and i might put some more shelving up here the same kind of shelves or even switch them up i'm not entirely sure that is going to change and then of course the floor this is also going to change we're literally just going to put a lino on top of this flooring just to brighten up the area a little bit more i'm just not a fan of the orange so i think just by changing that to a lino which we've actually done in previous houses before it was absolutely fine and actually it's warmer on the feet than the tiles sorry that's the dishwasher making a noise there but yeah the tiles i think will will be so much warmer with the laminate and i'm going to show you the laminate in a second as well the one that we're going to go for so that is the kitchen a kind of before of the kitchen i guess but we will change the lights as well we've just got a pendant light here and then we've got this big 
long one there but we'll change that eventually and then I was thinking we could put like a nice little table here to sit at that's just a TV bracket that the previous owners had left. So if I turn you around, you can see that we've got this space here, which eventually I think could be a really good space for like an American fridge. You know, those really big fridges. We have got our range here at the moment, which we are going to keep. So that's why it's there. And I actually do use this one because I like, uh, well, I know how it works properly. So I use this one. And yeah, that is the kind of layout of this area. We've also got that little cupboard that goes under there to the dining room. But if we go through here, this is our utility room. Let me turn the lights on for you. There we are. So this is the utility room. As you can see, it's already got lino on the floor here. So this is actually already lifting a little bit and it's really old. So we're gonna replace that as well and have the same as the kitchen. So it all just flows through really nicely. This is the utility area. As you can see, I've already painted this here with some French ink paint. I wanted to see if that color would work in here, but I just feel like it's gonna to be too dark. So again, I'm gonna paint this white, I think. So I'm gonna paint that white, paint the tiles a gloss white, and then come back with like a woody kind of effect worktop. And as you can see, this is quite this is quite a difficult area to use the kind of vinyl. This is gonna be quite a difficult area to do because obviously we've got the sink, but it will give me a feel and show me how easy it is to do if it is easy. When I asked on Instagram like how people had got on with the kind of vinyl worktops and if it had lasted long, I, it was kind of a 50-50 response. And I think what it is, is it all comes down to the application and how you apply it. And getting that first finish as, as perfect as you can I think it's going to be really important and obviously looking after it as well so not putting hot pans on it you know using cutting boards rather than cutting straight onto the vinyl which I wouldn't do anyway so I think it's just being a bit smarter with it and applying it properly which is something I'm a little bit nervous about but if you've got any tips let me know someone did say if you get like air bubbles and to use like a little needle just to kind of get those air bubbles out and then smooth it out so I'm going to try that out I'm not really sure what the best vinyl is to use so if you've got any tips on that as well then please let me know because I haven't ordered any yet and yeah I'm very excited to kind of transform this area because in the utility room at the moment I kind of like don't really like being in here it's such a clutter zone in here we've got coats everywhere behind the door we want to create a boot room eventually so this is just our kind of makeshift area I've just got shoes here coats scarves and all of that kind of stuff so yeah this is the utility room at the moment, but there is loads of potential. I could put my nice picture up here, you know, the one that I used to have in my utility room before. And then up here is a paint storage area. It wasn't really intended for that, but it's just been, we just keep putting it up there every time we're painting. So that I'm gonna change and put some like really nice big baskets up there, I think. But there is loads of potential here and I think it could work out really well. We need to paint this door as well. We've started painting the other doors, but I need to give them another coat. But I'm gonna paint that one black to match the other doors. But that is the utility room at the moment. So yes, like I said, I feel like this is a really big space. It's got loads of potential. We've got our fridge there. But let me show you the flooring. Playroom is not even gonna change much right now, but I wanted to show you the flooring that we're gonna use in there because then it will like go with this flooring. So we're gonna get rid of the striped carpet and we're just gonna put like a plain one down just to keep it a little bit more neutral, a little bit softer in there. And it will go nicer with this floor that we're gonna change it to. So we've got some carpet samples here. We've got some vinyl samples here. These are just from a local retailer that we've used before called King's Carpet. So we've used them before when we've been working on like budget projects. So this is the vinyl. It's got five year warranty. It's general domestic hard wearing, easy to clean. It's got a cushioned vinyl backing and which looks like this. And it's got a slip resistant rating of 10, whatever that means. It doesn't feel slippy, it feels quite grippy, but there's so many different patterns in here. I actually really love this one, probably for more of a bathroom. This is super gorgeous as well. Reminds me of the tiles in our old house. There are so many different patterns in here and designs to choose from, but this one is the one that I'm gonna go with. Let me just show you a few of the other ones. You've got like a woody floor. I wanted to go for a wood floor, but we can't really because we've got the parquet flooring. It just wouldn't really match up, but they have got some really great faux wood floors in here i just think this is going to brighten up the area so much it's just that got that light feeling to it it's kind of like a pinky gray i don't really know how to explain it it's got beige tones in it it's also got gray tones in it a little bit of a minky color 
it's really hard to kind of show in the light but that is the flooring and I just think it will look really nice in here in the kitchen it's just going to really brighten up the area so that is the flooring that we're going to go for and it is called so it's by the brand lifestyle floors and it's in the shade Turon stone that is the style of it so that is the one that we're going to go for and then I'm going to show you the carpet that we're going to choose for the playroom so this is going to go throughout the kitchen and the utility room just to keep it really lovely and simple and then the carpets we've just gone for a really like cheapish carpet we've actually used this again in old projects before and it was absolutely fine I like this because it doesn't show marks when you're hoovering or vacuuming I don't really like that look so this is going to be great and perfect for the playroom so I think the color that we're going to go for is oh which one is it this one here I think again this picks up quite blue on the camera it's not actually as blue in person it was between these two this one does look better with this but in person it's a little bit more brown and I'm not sure I like the brown like as you can see my nails I like that minky color and this kind of goes with that this obviously does look more bluey but not in person it's so strange how it picks up on camera it's the same with the flooring like with this but I think that will still go quite nicely together so that is the carpet that we're going to go for and then that is the flooring that we're going to go for so if you imagine the kitchen will be all white we'll have like a woody kind of worktop some glossy ceramic effect tiles and then of course I'll accessorize so that is that one this one is just called, what is this called? This one is called Dolphin Dublin Twist. So there you go, that's that carpet. Something that's worth doing when you're changing your floors is to always get samples and move them around the house. Don't just put them in one spot. So as you can see, I've put this in the playroom now and you can kind of see how it's gonna look together. We will probably have this, I'm not sure if this is gonna change actually because it looks like it's properly built in, but um, it might not if it does it'll be a bit closer like this and then you'll have the like silver strip in the middle but I think they go quite nicely together I mean you don't want it to be too matchy matchy anyway so I think that would be absolutely fine and it will just brighten up the room won't it now this is the carpet that we've got in the playroom at the moment so it's just pure stripey we've had this in a couple of houses as well I think every house we've been in we've had a striped carpet we put it in optionally the first time round but the other two houses they've come with a carpet that's striped so <laughs> that's fine but I think what we want to do here we'll put like a sofa along here I'll probably put like a nice picture along there as well maybe some of the kids artwork would be quite nice in here because it is a playroom and yeah it's just furnishing it right so over this side I think I want to put something like an Ikea Kallax unit and then put a TV above it so the wider one not the kind of four unit one it's more of I think it's like eight cubes so so something like that I think along here keep the toys obviously around here as well and I just want to kind of utilize these little areas and nooks a little bit better so storage for the toys and stuff like that so if you've got any recommendations for that let me know we'll paint all of the walls as well and I'm going to paint this brick as well just to paint it white just to keep it all nice and airy I like to keep everything white I will probably add a splash of color here and there but I like to do that more so with decor pieces because those are things that I can change up easily so that's that keeps things interesting so yeah changing the carpet is going to be the biggest change in this room but I do want to make it feel like an actual really nice room as well not just a, a toy zone where everything it just gets chucked in here and it's not comfy or cozy to be in so I want it to be nice and cozy in here we've got the beams in here which is like the living room which is nice I need to put a nice light up as well can you see this <laughs> I don't know I was thinking of putting like a curtain across here but I think I won't bother just because you know what it's like with kids but yeah eventually this will go we're probably going to put like a big window here a crittle style window not actual crittle windows but a style crittle style probably but that is something again for the long term we will eventually knock through here so eventually we're going to knock through this wall here and at the moment if I just come over here at the moment you can see that wall comes out so we're going to kind of come up to that wall and then just bring it out a little bit here as well just so it's all one kind of flush wall and then um, we're going to have like all windows all the way across here like all the sliding doors all the way across and then if we come into the kitchen this will obviously be a big open space and we're going to have like a big island here We'll have units all the way across here so yeah we've got big plans for this in the future but it's not something we want to rush because i want to make it perfect and i want it to be just right and you know what it's like in a few years time we might actually change our mind on the kind of colors that we're thinking and things like that trends obviously change all the time we will keep it quite neutral i imagine but you never know what will happen because at the moment the trend is to kind of 
add more woods and earthy tones and I actually love that trend so much. A lot of people are going for kind of two-tone kitchens where they kind of have a different colour up here to the bottom. So yeah, there's loads of options but that is our kind of temporary budget option that I think is going to work really well. So I think that is everything that I wanted to talk you through with regards to the kitchen. I've had a few questions about it recently so I thought I would talk to you all in a video. If you would like to see more videos like this where I talk you through the room before we actually do anything then let me know. I can talk you through my ideas and also show you pictures and stuff where I get my inspiration. A lot of the time it is through Pinterest or Instagram. I'll often search for a specific thing like I did with the tiles and see if I can find any pictures to what was it up in my mind as well. Often it gives me ideas as well on products to use as well. So that is the plan for the kitchen and the utility room and the playroom. There's lots to be done in here. And I think what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna do this after the flooring is done in the hallway because we've got the hallway flooring to be done and the living room that is being done in February. So after that, this should get started and I'm very, very excited. I'm gonna start with the utility room. So I'll probably do that one as a separate video and then we'll work in the kitchen as well. So if you wanna see that, make sure you're subscribed. We've got so much planned for the house, which I'm very excited for. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.